Got some eggs. All right, what's up, YouTube? We've got egg cutting video right here. There are seven eggs were laid. Six eggs are good. Uh, one of them molded during the process. So this was a banana calico to a pastel cinnamon to a pewter. Um, this banana calico has been disturbing to me apparently because I swear there's some, been some super pastels in his clutch and I'm pretty sure there have been some inches in there. So I'm not sure what it is. We'll see what happens. There might, if we get a super pastel in here, it'll be easier to ID because there's not gonna be any pinstripe. Uh, but we'll know for sure if there's any inchy. The more, obviously the more chances you have of getting something, the easier it is to start IDing the animals once they come out. So let's start cutting some eggs. It's day 57. They haven't even looked like they're about to pip, so let's see what we got. So, first egg is a pewter. Um, let's see. I think this one might be Calico. Yeah, I think this is a pewter Calico. Look at that gray snake. Looks good. So I should mention that this is a male maker banana. So all the non-banana stuff will be females. So that's pretty good. So that's a, gonna be a female there. I mean, there's always a chance that you're gonna get a male non-banana, but just like there's a chance that you're gonna get a female banana from a male maker. But let's see what this second egg is. Uh. This looks like a calico. We'll know when it comes out of the egg, but it does have pinks on the side, and we'll see. Um, yeah, just a calico probably. There's no pastel in here, gosh. All right. These are some big babies. I'll tell you what, this is probably the biggest babies I've had in an entire year. The biggest baby that's hatched out has been probably 73 grams this year. So we'll see if this one beats it. Because that was a pretty big baby in that egg. What we got here? What the heck is this? That's another gray snake. <laughs> so this is definitely a pewter. Um, this one might be the pewter calico over and the other one one other one might just be a pewter so we'll see what it looks like when it comes out of the egg but that's pretty sick because it's usually pewters you have that bubbling on the side but this one has zero bubbling so that's pretty cool so far we haven't hit any bananas so what's up with that all right banana Looks like it. Banana. This might be just a banana cinnamon. We'll see if it has any calico when it comes out of the egg. Hard to tell from that angle. Okay, we got two more eggs left. I'll be tossing this moldy egg out after this video. All right, egg number five. What are you? Another banana. This is a banana cinnamon calico. Yay. Pretty cool. One more egg. So, so far two bananas and three non-bananas. Egg number six, last egg of the clutch. Kind of already got a peek at it. It doesn't look like a banana. So let's see. Nope, this one's just a normal. Even after all of those different morphs in there, still hit a normal. So we got two banana cinnamons. We have at least two pewters. This one's trippy, cause it's like no pattern. So this one has to be the pewter calico. And this one's just pewter. Or maybe they're both Peter Calico, and this one's just trippy. Uh, and then we got a Calico here, normal, banana cinnamon, maybe a banana 
yeah, banana cinnamon. I don't know if it has any calico. And then this one's a banana cinnamon calico. That's pretty neat. I like those colors coming through. And then this is a moldy egg, which is wearing a leaf. Nobody's cutting that today. But yeah, that's uh, got my hands a little messy there. So that's not a bad clutch. It's a pretty decent clutch. You know, just four morphs, no recesses. But I like the banana calico cinnamon stuff. If she's inchy, maybe we get some inchy stuff in there. We still don't know what he is, really, to be honest. Uh, but if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that I put out in the future. And as always, peace.